It's kind of late tonight, but I wanted to make a video about something that I'm super excited about and I've been wanting to make a video on for a while, but just uh, didn't really know when the time was right. And I think the time is now. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the video for you. So I don't think I've really talked about it much on this channel, but I have been really, really wanting a beta sorority tank for a long time, like five or six years probably. And I am finally able to achieve that now. I am so happy to show you guys my beta sorority tank. So here's the little tank setup that I have. This girl right here, I got her about a month ago. That's Rocky. And as you can see, she is not quite sure what to make of my new girl here. But Rocky came to me at the beginning of September. Then this is the girl that I got today. This is Ghost. And then over here, we have a Pleco. I got her the other day, and her name is Speckles. So, these are the girls. <laughs> this is the beta sorority tank. So, the water that I have is extremely soft. We have a well, and we have a water softening system. So, not a lot of, like, tropical fish do very well in my water. So, it kind of limits my options a little bit. I, so far, had the best luck with betas and tetras. So I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of options with the second tank when I set it up. So I was kind of going back and forth. I've been going back and forth for a few weeks now about whether I want to just do a beta and some tetras or if I want to try the beta sorority. And finally today I just decided, you know, let's do it. Let's do the beta sorority. And so that's where Miss Ghost came in. So far she seems to be doing well. Um, aside from Rocky being a little bit a little bit nasty towards Ghost. Um, they're all doing fairly well, and I'm just going to keep Ghost in the fishnet, like you saw, until her and Rocky get along a little better. So I did end up going to a few different pet stores today. I think I went to three different pet stores, and I ended up getting a lot of stuff <laughs> for my babies. A lot of it, I'm just going to give to them for Christmas presents. Um, but for right now, I will show you what I'm going to give to them now while I have you guys. So I will start with this. This is a little toy for my birds. It's got like these little rings on it with some toys and it's got a little bell on it. I'm so excited to give this to them. They love new toys. And then I got this for my kitties. They're like little pom-poms filled with catnip. And also for my kitties, I got them just some actual catnip. I got this for my dogs. Yes, they've already had some. They are apple, peanut butter, and vanilla flavored. And they went absolutely crazy. Oh, and I also got this for my birds. It's like a little snack stick, and it's like fruit flavor. They love these things. I noticed some of the plants in the beta sorority tank were getting a little worn, because that tank's kind of old, and I didn't really replace any of the plants when I set it up. So I got this cool new plant today. It's really cute. Can't wait to put that in there. And then for truffle and the gerbils, I got this little pumpkin. It's a corn husk and wood chew for them. And then I got one of these. Um, my gerbils had one of these and they destroyed it. They loved it so much. <laughs> and then I got these little guys. Also, just kind of for both of them. And then I got this little treat too. This little toy. So I'm going to go give this to all my babies and see how they like it. I can't wait. So this all is going to my gerbils. That's for them. Okay, let's see if Truffle's a little more receptive to his new toys. I guess not. Nope. Oh, there he is. Hello. I 
thingy like so. Okay, here's the new plant in the beta sorority tank. And there's Ghost playing with air bubbles. I ended up taking out some uh, plants that were looking a little icky and just uh, threw them out and then just got this new plant that looks so much better. And considering that I'm trying to do like kind of a Spongebob theme because I have the Krusty Krab in Spongebob's house and I'd like to try and get some more ornaments relating to Spongebob for this tank, do a little Spongebob theme. Um, I think that plant fits really well with the same vibe as like Spongebob. So I'm hoping that'll fit well with this tank once I uh, get some more things that I'm trying to get for it. But yeah, I think it looks really good now. So for the birds, I put their new toy here. And then I put their new treat stick back there and took down an old one that was there that they'd eaten. And now, they are very upset with me because I had my hands in their cage. I have disturbed the Tetras and trying to sleep, and Leo of course too. But I did not want them to feel left out, so here they are. Disturbed from their sleep. As for the cats and dogs, I'm not going to show their stuff right now just because it is kind of late and I'm going to be getting ready for bed here shortly. But I did want to make a quick little video.